Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Um, you know, this quote by Gandhi is famous. And it's so crazy because he was assassinated uh, on January 30th, 19... Um, I don't want to quote. I think it's 46, if I'm not mistaken. But anywho, I love his quote. It says, if all Christians acted like Christ the whole world would be Christian. Let me say that again. If all Christians acted like Christ, let me let me tune in on that. The whole world would be Christian. I'm going somewhere with this. I'm going to say it one more time. Three times, right? This is God. Um, I'm, I'm just talking about his quote here. If all Christians acted like Christ, the whole world would be Christian. I'm going somewhere with this. Just bear with me one moment. So now I want to talk to you about, and I'm going to tell y'all what prompted this. I have to go here before I start this. Um, it's what happened with me uh, in Sacramento. Like I said, I'm not going to expound on it, but you guys are pretty swift and smart. Um, something happened with two Christians that probably shouldn't have happened. Okay, so anywho, they had this guy that he didn't witness it, but he understood what was going on. And... I'm not going to say the situation, but I want you to hear what he said, because I don't know what his faith was, right? But this is what he said. He said, are they Christians? After what happened, happened. And I didn't catch it then. I just caught it. Believe it or not, God was talking to me just now, and he said, Deanna, did you understand his name was Alfonso? He said, do you know what he meant today when he said, after what happened, happened, he said, were they Christians? And he just kind of smiled. But I didn't catch it then. Just now I caught it. I said, God, I know what you're saying. And I'm just going to go straight to it. You guys, I don't care how much you have. I don't care how much money you have, how much education, whatever you think you have. If you don't act with love, if you don't act with understanding, then you are a liar before God. Because the foundation of God is love. And what am I saying? I'm, I'm, I'm going to get straight to the point. I got time to beat around the bush. Most Christians, and hold on. I think we've all been through that. Some of y'all just plain mean. You don't have to be mean. You don't have to talk mean. You don't have to act mean. That's not the qualities and the character of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I didn't say act like no punk. And I'm, I'm just going here straight up. Y'all know how I roll. I'm not saying let people walk over you. But you ain't got to be ugly. And most of y'all are ugly. I mean, let somebody say something to you. We wonder if you saved or not, or if you a thug or not. Come on, somebody, because you'll cuss them out. Y'all got to stop acting like that straight up. And you know what? Hold on. It was to me first. If you, any of you have been following me, if you go in my late um, early days, like 2012, 13, 14, 15, man, I was up on here hollering at people. I was doing the most. I had to, I had to repent. I'm just being honest. I'm going to start with me. God said, wait a minute, hold on, hold on. I'm using you, but hold on. Watch how you talk to people. Respect people. Love people. Treat people kind. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because guess what? The world is watching. And that's our testimony. You, you can say anything you want. You could do whatever you want. They watch what we do. Much less than what we say. And if the two don't coincide, they don't believe you. And that's why we're losing people and people don't want to be Christians these days because we have to say what does say the Lord, okay? We have to have a standard. But it's supposed to be, the foundation is supposed to be love and understanding no matter what the issue is. Like I'm going here tonight. Most people know I don't, I don't get down with homosexuality. But what if I tell you over 70% of people contact me are, are, homosexual, are homosexuals? I don't bash them. I love them. I don't get down with that, but I love them. I love them back to life. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me tonight. Come on, somebody. We got to act like Jesus for real. Not just quote his quotes and, and do this and do that and preach and teach. We got to reach people where they're at. So let me go ahead and do this. Actions like Jesus. I listen to others to learn their story before telling them about my faith. You have to let people know you care. Can't just look, look, you don't serve Jesus Christ, then you're going to hell. That's not the way we do it. In recent years, I have influenced multiple people to consider following Christ because I, we do it the way Christ wants us to do it. 
I regularly choose to have meals with people with very different faith of morals from me because then if they see Christ in me, then they may want to know my Christ. Hallelujah. I try to discover the needs of non-Christians rather than waiting for them to come to me. Hallelujah. I am personally spending time with non-believers to help them follow Jesus. But hold on. I didn't say conform and be like them. That's not what I said. I'm just saying don't reject them. You know, most people see people and you just turn your nose up. That's another thing. A lot of Christians are arrogant. Stop that. Because if God didn't save you with your pretty self, I wonder where you would be. Hallelujah. Attitudes like Jesus. I see God giving value in every person, regardless of their past or present conditions. I believe God is for everyone, meaning that everybody needs God. And I'm talking about, hold on, let, let me tell y'all what God I'm talking about. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because I know that there's a lot of false guards, right? Okay. I see God working in people's lives, even when they're not following him. Because he, he's leading them to him. He has his hands open, his arms open. It is more helpful. Let me read it right. Hold on. Let me get it right there. It is more helpful to help people know God. Is it for them to make sure that they know who you are? And that's what we got. We got people wanting glory. Oh, I brought a thousand people. I did. You didn't do nothing. The power of Jesus did that. You were just, you were just an instrument, a tool. I feel compassion for people who are not following God and doing immoral things. Let me, let me, I feel compassion for people who are not following God and doing immoral things. You guys, let me tell you something. That's what it's about. It's about witnessing in this hour like never before, people. Witnessing being like Christ. Showing them the love of Christ. They're hurting. They're hurting. They're hurting. They want love. Because guess what? When we was unsafe, we was hurting. We wanted love. We're looking for love in a man, money, drugs, alcohol, sex. Don't play with me. You know what? I know what time it is. Because uh, uh, let me tell you something. The feasts come out at night. In daytime, y'all be dressing all proper and, you know, y'all know. But then at night, you somebody else. I bet you in the daytime, you, 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 you'll you flip real quick. Them spirits are real. So we all need Jesus. Don't get it twisted. But let's show the love of Christ. You know, because when that stuff happened to me today, I had to play back with that man. Said He said, and they're Christians. I said, wow, he, he was, he was, he was being real. They treating you like that and they Christians. I'm going to say it. Yeah, I'm going to say it how he, how he want to say it. And they Christians. Oh man, I ain't, I ain't ready. And y'all ain't ready because the truth is the truth is the truth. Well, all right. That's all I want to say up on here. Let's act like Jesus for real, y'all. Let's have an attitude like Jesus. God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.